have we got a wonderful night for you tonight. And I'm so excited about this. This man that's getting ready to walk out on this stage has won Grammys, has won Doves, has got gold albums. So I want you to make him welcome. How about it for John Slick? Hey, y'all. God bless you. Thank you so much for being here. Merry Christmas, folks.
we're so glad that you're here. And uh, I love Christmas ah, music, don't you? I do, very much so. Now, you've got a brand new Christmas record. Of mm -hmm. course, everybody knows who John Slits is. You know, for what, 20 years you mm -hmm. was on the road with, with Petra, uh, with Petra mm -hmm. and won uh, Grammys and uh, Doves and Go Records and had lots of fun and mm -hmm. wonderful and I, time. I, and I think we got a lot of work done, too. Yes, you did. Which I, I, which I think is probably the, the biggest accolade that you could ever say for, for us or for Petra. The, the gold records, that was great. That was fantastic. It paid bills. Yes. Uh, the Grammys were great because it opened doors for us. It wouldn't have been. Yeah. The Doves were sort of a, an appreciation of the, of the industry that we were in, which was, uh, you know, very, very appreciated. But really, watching people come forward, that's, that's what uh, it's all about. That's what it was about. It was very cool. And that's what we can take with us. A amen. Well, you know, not take. That's what we're going to get to see when we when yeah. we go to heaven. Absolutely. We're going to get to see. Hopefully, I'm hoping that maybe someone will come say, "You know what? I got saved at your concert, and I'm here." And praise God. Would that be neat? That's why we're here. Amen. That's what we're doing. Why yeah. we're doing what we're doing. Amen. Celebrating the greatest gift. Yep. That's ever been given to us. Amen. And that is Jesus Christ. Yes. What's Jesus mean in your life? Well, he saved my life. Yeah. Saved my life. I, I'd be six feet under right now and probably in a whole different direction than where I'm planning on going after I'm dead. And uh, seriously, think about it. He, he shed his blood for every one of our sins. Right. Today, tomorrow, yesterday. And uh, does that justify us being able to do anything? No. But what it did for me was gave me a, a realization that no matter how disgusting I thought I was, uh, that the blood of Christ was shed for me. Yep. And I got that second chance. In fact, I wouldn't have been with Petra if God hadn't said I, in almost a verbal voice, John, what sin was it that you did that was greater than the, the blood of my son? And it, it really, sh it actually sort of shocked me. And I go, oh my gosh. Because I I'd carried a lot of guilt from when I was, you know, when I was in right. secular days. And said, there's no possible way I can be in a Christian ministry now because I was so filthy, so dirty from the past. And that's when, uh, that's when Christ, I, or God had finally had to talk to me, say, hey, listen, get it straight. Here's how it works. And it opened up a whole new possibility for me. And I said, that was when I said, maybe, maybe I can use my voice for Christ. And, and if, if that hadn't happened, I, when Bob called me, uh, Bob, the leader for Petra, called me, I probably would have said, no, I can't. I, I'm too dirty. I'm too, God can't use me. So I, I really, and, and getting back to Christmas, we're talking about a baby who was born in the, the lowest possible way it can be. Right. And was lifted up and became, and this was on purpose. Yeah. I mean, think about it. God wanted Jesus to not be in a pedestal. He wanted him to, to live and in, in the lowest ebbs. Right. And, and suffer and feel all the different emotions and stuff that we feel so he could go and, and, and know that, okay, I understand this. I understand. I felt it too. I understand it. I understand it. And I get, hopefully I'm thinking he's standing in the right hand of the father going, no, no, dad, you don't understand. This one is, is tough. This, this emotion's tough. I know. So that's why the blood was shed. Right. I, I'm, I'm getting carried away. Oh, no, it's sorry. wonderful. <laughs> that's what, that's, that's what we should be getting carried away about is what the Lord wants to do and what he's done in your life, but mm. what he wants to do in others' lives. And that's why we celebrate what we're celebrating. Amen. At this very moment, yeah. you know, he is the greatest gift that you could ever receive. And he wants to come in. And I love what you said, you know, uh, no, I've been too bad. Isn't it awesome to know that no matter how bad a person has been or no matter how good a person has done, mm -hmm. his love is no different from the greatest saint to the greatest sinner in this house. I know. And that's a perfect love. It's a, it's a, I think it's a love that we don't understand. Oh, absolutely. Because first of all, we're, we're not God, praise God. And uh, so we're, real, we're never going to understand the depth of his love. All we can do is read the word and accept it. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and sometimes, I mean, think about it. You have uh, these terrible murderers that go and get the, you know, last minute, uh, they, they give their life to the Lord and you're going, he's going to be in heaven too? You know, it's, it's that kind of, that's because we're not God, you know. It, we would rather see him go where we think he belongs. But that's not God. No. God loves, and he has a perfect plan for him. 
And uh, I guess when we go up there, he'll see all his victims and he'll, he'll say, well, sorry, but, uh, but they're there. And it just, it's just a strange, it, it's hard. Sometimes I, I wrote a song a long time ago called God is Too Big, which basically means that he's too big for us to ever understand. Yeah. We will never understand the amazing love, the depth, the dimension of our God. Yeah. What we're trying to tell you tonight is this. There's hope. Oh. No matter where you've been, no matter what's going on in your life, there's hope for you. And that's why you see all this decoration. That's why you see what's going on here tonight. That's why we sing our songs. That's why we do what we do. It's to tell you there is hope in Jesus Christ. He is the gift uh, for this season that was given to us that can change your life. Yeah. John, why don't we do this before we talk about your, your new CD? Maybe somebody right now has just tuned in and they want to, uh, maybe they need prayer. Well, would you lead them in a prayer tonight? I would love to, but yeah. that would be wonderful. Um, Father, we thank you so much for this network, for this, this, this program, because we get a chance to talk to you to you out there who you're watching this program you're going, how did I get on this station? I'll tell you why, because God's got a plan for you. He loves you. He has a plan for your life. You will never understand the love of Jesus Christ until you finally realize that, yes, you're a sinner and ask Christ into your life. You do that, it'll change your life. Think about it. You never have to walk alone again. Yeah. You will always have God right there with you. Every problem, every, every challenge, it's never you alone again. It's you and God. But you have to make the choice. Yeah. Why are you wasting time? Come on. Jesus Christ loves you and has a plan for your life right now. Accept him. Amen. John, I want to say thank you so much for being here. Oh, Jason, my pleasure. Thank you uh, for your work. 20 years out with Petra, mm -hmm. but it, you know, it's a new chapter now yes. Amen. and this day yes. for you. Yes. Uh, and we have a, a, a new Christmas project. I love this. It's beautiful. Uh, it's called the Christmas Project, John Slit. Listen, and they can get this right now. Uh, your website is being shown, even though we can't okay. see it. It's being shown. They can go up and, and check this out. Now, did you write any of the music that is on this, or is it pretty much? Um, They're all, uh, all but not all but one is all traditional. Right and now, when I say traditional, I as, tra tradition. as traditional as I can be. And there's a couple other songs that are pretty traditional. But then everything, uh, the the songs that you're familiar with, we tried to change it a little bit because I'm a rocker. Right. And. Uh, there are so many wonderful, amazing Christmas albums out there right now. Right. I mean, why should I try to compete if I want to sound like everyone else? You just be yourself. So I tried to use the the uh, passion of, of rock and bring it into a traditional music, uh, Christian music feel. Wow. And that's that's how it turned out. Then there's one song with, that my producer and I wrote called uh, What Christmas Needs to Be, but I think we want to do a different song right uh, in a little bit. What, but, Christi what Christmas needs to be. Yes. Tell, tell me a little bit about it, though. It's very, it's simple. You know, I, I watch Christmas, especially here in, in this country, and we have so many people go, you know, what Christmas used to be about Christ, now it's all about stores and buying and all this. They're right. It is. But on the other hand, uh, if you look back and think about the traditional Christmas around, quote, a Christmas tree, which some will go, oh, no, you can't do that. Yes, you can, because there's beautiful memories yeah. of family. Of, of being able to share that time where probably the only time your whole family gets back together is when you're at Christmas, around the Christmas tree. So um, it, it's basically saying, get, get the what I have to buy is out of the way and get the what I can give yeah. in the way. Right. And it just, it's just a, a wonderful thing, saying Jesus is what Christmas needs to be. And sometimes they're, they're the, the, the gall of some people saying, oh, it's a, a, a happy holiday or Merry Xmas. How dare we do that? Mm -hmm. We're phasing God, the, the God of the universe, phasing his name out of the one holiday where we're supposed to be worshiping him or right. to speak of his birth. So uh, I tried to, we tried to write about that saying, hey, this is how Christmas was. This is how Christmas needs to be now. Right. 
Let me ask you this before you sing your next song. <laughs> okay. And this is just, just I want to ask. Okay. What, what's one thing that you're looking forward to, to doing this, this holiday? Would it be the food? Is it the good food? Or well, yeah. Turkey and the... I like good food, yeah. What, but what, I, no, my... What do, you, what's, what's, what do you love? Every time I think of Christmas, I think of all the kids, all my grandkids. My grandkids? Wife. Oh, yeah. How many grandkids you got? Six. You got six grandkids? Yes. And all of them being around the tree at that one time. Yeah. I'm serious. That one time is, uh, is the highlight of my year. Yeah. Uh, but begin to understand, I'm a, Christian fanat or a Christmas fanatic. I love Christmas from the last day. Well, Thanksgiving, maybe in the evening through New Year's. That's Christmas to me. Yeah. And I, I love it. Uh, it it's, it's such a wonderful time. I look forward to it all year. And being able to do this, this Christmas album for the first time in 40 years, I finally got to do one, uh, is, a, is a wonderful thing. Now... This is your first? First Christmas record. You're kidding. Yep. I didn't know that. Yep, very first. Well, everybody download. Go buy. <laughs> Whatever you need to do, you need to get. This is the first Christmas. Mm -hmm. This is wonderful. Yes. So anyway, go out and get it. Uh, you can go to the website, iTunes, all yep. that kind of stuff. Uh -oh. Just get it. Just right. get it. Get it, get it, get it. So here we go. Thank you for being here, John. Buddy, thank you for having me. What are you going to do for us next? We Three Kings. I love that. Me too. Well, it's done a little different, but, yeah. but you're right. Guys. Good. I like the way uh, you do it. Thank, thank you. you again. That's How about it? Come on. Let's give John a nice round of applause. now behold him arise king and god sacrifice hallelujah hallelujah sound through the earth and sky yeah yeah star of wonder star of
Love it. Come on, let him know you appreciate him coming out. God bless you, John. Ah, I love that song. Again, don't forget to go out and, and to uh, get his new CD called The Christmas Project. And, uh, but anyways, I, you know, this time of year is very, very special. Um, it, it is about family. And uh, this year, it's what's kind of going to be sad for a uh, very dear family, the founders of this network, TBN, Dr. Paul Crouch. Went home to be with the Lord, and uh, I, I do want to say this, be in prayer for the family. And uh, we just want to say that we love you uh, and, and all the family, and know that you are in our thoughts and prayers this holiday, and uh, praise the Lord. I know that this is what he would say, probably he'd say that's the reason we're here, to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, that we'll all get to be together one day in heaven, and uh, rejoice those that are uh, you know, redeemed and covered by the blood of Jesus. We'll get to be together in heaven. And so, uh, anyways, what about a wonderful round of applause and, and, and for Dr. Ba Paul and the family and just let them know you love them. Come on, everybody. I need everybody to come out. Everybody that was on, is it all right if we do a number together, everybody? Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to stand to your feet. Come on. Everybody that can't stand to your feet. We're going to have a good time with this. Now, before we get into this song, I want to say this. Which camera am I looking at? Right there, I see it. Listen, you need Jesus Christ. Yes. The whole reason, I love what you said, the reason for the season is right now. He will change your life. He will, <laughs> he is life, to be honest with you. It's hard to understand what life is all about until you receive Jesus in your heart. And I know, I know you're saying, well, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to get it. He makes it all make sense. Now, I'm not going to tell you that everything's going to be perfect after that, but he'll help you get through the tough times. All you have to do, the scripture says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you confess your sins, he's faithful and just to forgive you of all unrighteousness and who the sun sets free is free indeed. And I think we can all say we love you Jesus in here, can we? We love you Jesus. Amen. We love you Lord. If you need prayer, all you have to do is call that number on the screen. Y'all ready? Let's do this. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Come on, everybody. They're watching over silent flocks by night. Behold, throughout the heavens, there came a holy light. Oh, go tell it on the mountains, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountains that Jesus Christ. Oh, 
so glad you've been with us for Praise the Lord. TBN has a worldwide ministry. We need your love gifts, large or small, to help keep the gospel of Jesus Christ going around the world. So write today, Praise the Lord, P.O. Box A, Santa Ana, California, 92711. Or in Canada, write TBN, P.O. Box 768, Station B, Ottawa, Ontario, K1P 5P8. If you haven't asked Christ into your life, Call our prayer partner now and pray to receive Jesus as Savior and Lord. Now until next time, remember to praise the Lord. This program has been brought to you through the prayers and contributions of our faithful partners throughout North America and the world.